You don't typically think of wine as a health drink, but recent studies indicate that wine can reduce the risk of some cancers, lower the chance of heart attack, and delay dementia, among other health benefits. So, is it bottoms up or drinker beware? Joe Bastianich is a wine expert and today contributor. Joy Bauer, of course, is our nutritionist. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Okay, this is confusing to me because one day you hear wine's great for you, it's good for your heart, and blah, blah, blah. And then the next day you hear wine drinkers get breast cancer and it's bad mm -hmm. for you. What is the kind of the, the big picture bottom line? Well, you know what, in conjunction with an overall healthy lifestyle, moderate amounts of wine, that's the key, moderate amounts mm -hmm. of wine can be healthy, but there are a few medical conditions that are worsened with wine drinking, and we'll go over them later. Okay, well, let's talk about the red wines. Um, Joe, what are the benefits? I mean, I know that everyone says red wine can be good for you. Well, I think, I think that red wine in general has a lot of health benefits because red wine, unlike white wine, is fermented on the skins and the stems, and the skins is where all the good stuff in wine is. Uh -huh. so it's a lot of dry extract. All, all, the, all the things that are good about wine are in the skins, and that really is more in red wine. So, Joy, is, are the health benefits just for the red wines? No, because there are two things that wine has going for it. One is the alcohol content. Mm -hmm. Alcohol, in general, has been well documented to boost the good cholesterol. That's oh. the HDLs, which is the fat traveling away from the heart, and that's cardioprotective. Okay, is that just wine or is that any alcohol? It's all, all alcohol. alcohol. Okay. And then the second piece that's exclusive to wine, and more so in red, mm -hmm. are that the grapes bring these phytonutrients, the plant compounds, which act as antioxidants. Okay. And they prevent cellular damage all over the body. And what Joe is explaining is the red has much more of a concentration in these phytonutrients, specifically resveratrol. And Joe, are there wines like, let's say, from France or from right. somewhere else that are better for for you and have less extra stuff you know, in them? I think that the, the wines from, like, the grape is the, is the fruit of the vine, mm -hmm. and it's what the vine does to proliferate itself. And these compounds in the skins are what naturally protect the grapes from the environment. Right. So that grapes that come from colder areas or places so, where the grapes struggle more will have more of these compounds, like resveratrol. So where are the good? Tell me what the well, good you know, places. Well, cold growing, like we have uh, yeah. a Pinot Noir from Santa Rita Hills. We have Lagrain from okay. Trentino Alto okay. Adige, um, Malbec from Argentina. So I think colder, more extreme wine environments. Now, I think part of the deal we were talking about is we talked about moderation. You can't just guzzle wine no. and it's good for you. How much should you have? The amount you drink matters tremendously right. because up and beyond this, not only do you lose the health benefits, you actually increase your health right. risk. So you right. want, for a woman, up to one drink a day. That's a five-ounce serving. And for men, it's up to two drinks a day and, again. And this shows you what five this ounces is, looks these are like, five right? Ounce. So it's basically five ounces, four glasses to a bottle. Right. So this is the equivalently a quarter of a bottle. Right. So for me, that's two glasses. Got now, it. the bad news is that Hold you can't... You, you, one. 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 You okay. can't well, stockpile your share. So it's two glasses a day or one glass a just, day. And, and, well, quickly, guys, I just want to get to the, the negative effects of wine because that thing about breast cancer kind of caught my eye. Tell me who should not be drinking Okay, wine. there's a few downsides to wine. First, it elevates triglycerides. So anybody with high triglycerides mm -hmm. really wants to lay off or drink with caution. Breast cancer is a big one. We now see that all alcohol may, in fact, increase hormones. Oh. So it can increase your chance of developing an estrogen-positive breast cancer. And then I tell you, right. people that have had breast cancer or are at high risk right. to really drink with caution. Which means what? N never? It once in a while? It means be selective okay. when you do drink. You're not going to want to okay. do the one-a-day type right. of thing. Joy, Joe, thank you guys so thank much. It's welcome. great advice. All right.